Do you guys have a broken wheel stud and you need to replace it with a new one? Stick around and I'll show you how to do it. What's up guys, my name is Andy. I've got a broken wheel stud here, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a new one. In fact, I'm gonna do all five of these studs since I'm in here, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is take off the, the drum. Pretty easy to do, just slides right off. And we need to get to this one right here. So what we wanna do is we're going to, we can actually put, leave it right where it is, but if you need to, you can rotate this around so that when you knock it out the back, it doesn't hit anything back here. Also, you need to make sure that your car is jacked up just so that you can spin this. If the other tire was on the ground over there, you wouldn't be able to spin this easily. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll put it right about there. And if you've got a hammer like this, this will work. You can hit them, you know, hit those out with, with this type of hammer. I'm gonna use a punch like this and see if I can drive this out. And you may find that some of these are in there pretty good. We're gonna spray a little PB blast on here to help the, the rust that's holding these threads, holding these, these on these into, this, the, into the hub and see if that helps a little bit. There we go, got that one out. Now for the rest of these, you might not need the, the, the punch. You might be able to do it with just hitting it with the hammer. Uh, so this is kind of a one-time deal because if you mess up the threads, then you gotta, you gotta finish it out. All right, now all those are out. Now we can put the new ones in. These new studs that I got, I got them from National Parts Depot, but they're pretty much, I mean, whatever car you have, you can get them from anywhere you want. I think I paid, I think they were like $3 a piece or something like that, so that worked pretty good. So now we need to find, what you need to do is you need to position this so that you can get the stud from behind. If you tried to put it from up here, you can't quite get it in there, but if you rotate this around, you've got lots of room back here. There we go, and you put it through like that. And we're gonna use, now there's a special tool that you can use, this uses a bearing that has a fixed surface that rides on here and then a surface that rides on the nut as you tighten this down, but I don't have that. I'm gonna use some washers and just stack this thing up and, and then put a nut on here and tighten it down. Now I'm gonna use an impact gun to do this. If you use like a, like a breaker bar, like something like this, you're gonna end up rotating this assembly. So you'd either have to drop the wheel on the other side so this won't, ro ro won't rotate, or see if you can get something like this. And you can see on the back here, this isn't quite seated all the way, so we gotta do a little bit more just to get that thing to fully seat all the way down to the bottom. You gotta be careful that when you get to the washers that are go back there, that they're not to the point where they're gonna actually press the bolt inside the washer, uh, wrong size. So we gotta get the right size washer. Okay, let's try this again. Now we got washers that the, <laughs> that the shoulder fits through. So this should work a lot better. We reached the limit of this uh, electric torque, you know, this impact gun. So now we're gonna have to go to the breaker bar and just finish the last little bit to get that to seat all the way. And now you can see that the back of this is flush with this plate. Now we can go ahead and install the other four studs. All right. That's all five of them, all done, all ready to go. Everything's torqued down, ready to go. It's set. Um, it was just the first stud that I had to drop the wheel on the other side and use, uh, you know, one of these kind of uh, breaker bars uh, just to flip the final seat it. For whatever reason, wasn't wanting to do it. But I was able to get the other four of these just using this impact driver. So that worked out pretty good. So guys, that's it. It's pretty simple. It doesn't take much to install these studs. Uh, just punch them out from the front, put them in from the back. Um, this, this lug nut is, is now a sacrificial nug. I mean, if you had a, a, an actual nut, um, these are one half by 20 uh, thread pitch, that would probably work just fine. I just used an old lug nut that uh, I didn't need anymore, cut the back off so in case the bolt needed to come through. And, uh, but yeah, this one's toast, but that's okay. We got all these installed. Now we can go ahead and put the drum back on, put the wheel on, and I'm set. Guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.